This is an instructional video on how to back up your iDossio files and data through Dropbox or Google Drive. All right, here we go. On the left-hand side, you'll see your icons listed. My, I use the full-size mode, so I will be clicking on the 11th icon down, which is my settings. If you're using the compact mode, your settings button is going to be your sixth icon down. It says settings, and it's got a little sprocket, so look for that and click on that. When you click on it, we have our main setting page come up. On the top left-hand side, you see the word done, and then underneath that, you have system, and it gives you all a bunch of options. Below that is backup settings. Currently, I have mine linked to my Dropbox. You can see it's checked with the blue check. I'm going to click on Dropbox. And on the right-hand side, it brings up a new set of options. Next to the word Dropbox is a green tab that's already been clicked. I've already linked my Dropbox to my Adasio app, just like most of us in Aurora. That's how we get our class rosters into Adasio. So I already have it linked there. If you have not linked it yet, you just got to click on that until it turns green. It will take you over to the Dropbox file that you have app on your iPad. And you just got to allow it, and it will bring you right back to here. Down underneath that, you have backup and then restore archive backup. If you were to have something happen to your iPad and you had to get a new iPad, you'd re-download the app and you can restore archive backup files here. Underneath that is the default backup system. If you click there, it will always de default to backing up to the Dropbox. It's up to you where you have it. Right now I have mine on the backup as a default as Dropbox. If I click down to Google Drive, I can do the same thing here. I've got mine connected to it. And if I wanted to change it so that the Google Drive is my default backup, I would just click there. So you get to choose between Drive and Dropbox. When you have chosen one or the other, press Done. It brings you back to your main page. Now I'm going to go down and back up my system. When I back up my system, if you're using the compact mode, you're going to go down to the fourth icon from the top. If you're using the full size mode, you're going to go down to the ninth icon down. It says backup and it shows a little clock showing you how to back that up. So you click on that option. It gives you the option as a full backup data and files or a quick backup. I'm going to do a full backup just to show you the example. When you were doing a backup for the very first time, I would definitely do a full backup. That way you have everything and you're ready to go. If you have already done it once and you want to just back up what you've added recently, you can kick the, click the other. That choice is up to you, but you'll have both <clears throat> no matter what you do. On the bottom right now, you'll see that mine is backing up. It shows a status bar going across the bottom. When it is done, the screen will dim and our new window will pop up and it will say backup is complete. So we're going to wait until that is done. Now as we're waiting for that to be done, something to remember is you want to be able to back up often. I, I back up personally once a week. I have a reminder every Friday to back up. I have that reminder here in my events calendar, my Adasio app, but I also have my Adasio app connected to my email and my calendar on my iPad. I'll show you how to create a reminder so that you have that as well. If you don't want to put it in through the Adasio app, that is fine. That's your choice. But you got to remember, if you lose data, it's very hard to get that. You can't get that back. So I do recommend backing up often. I know most of us in Colorado have, are working with SB 191, that, the assessment piece, teacher evaluation with that. So if you're using the Adasio app as a way to show data and show growth in students, uh, I would recommend backing up every week so that you're not losing data. And if something something does happen, which, you know, in technology stuff happens all the time, you have as much of the data as you have collected throughout the year so far. Um, we are almost done, so as soon as this is done, I'll show you the button to press to show that you are done and how to add an event as a reminder to back up when you want to back up. All right, our backup is complete. I press OK. I will completely backed up. Now I'm going to go over to the Events button on the side. It's got the little bell with it. I click on My Events, and it brings up my whole calendar. Now I'm going to go to the 14th, because that's the next Friday. Like I said, I always back up on Fridays, so that's the end of the day. I'm going to click it once. It brings up Options, and I'm going to add an event. I'm going to add in my event. I have my backup Idosio in there. I'm going to have it at a specific time. I'm going to do it at the end of the day for me.
two thirty. Oh, apologize. Give me one second. All right, now I'm gonna go down to repeat because I want it to repeat every week. So now it's gonna repeat weekly on Fridays. I'm never gonna have it end, so it will go continuously. I'm gonna add that event to my calendar. And every Friday now, starting on the 14th to the 21st, 20th, and on down, it's going to remind me each week to back up my data. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email is ndspencer at aps.k12.co.us. This app is a great tool to use. Um, I will continue making more videos on how to use this app and use the different tools for that. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you out as much as possible. I'm trying to progress PE as any way we can. Ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day.